In this tutorial, we will learn about using quick mask mode in Adobe Photoshop. Quick mask mode is basically used for creating accurate selections. As in this assignment, we are going to open an image and we will highlight certain parts of an image. You can choose any image of your choice. I am going to open this image. In this image, while working with the quick mask mode, I will highlight Mark Zuckerberg and the background and the people in the background will be blurred. Now, how do you start the quick mask mode? Here uh, in the toolbar, there are two modes available. One is the standard mode and the other one is the quick mask mode. For opening the quick mask mode, just click on this button and make sure that the foreground and the background colors are set to black and white. Now select paint bucket tool and simply click on the picture. You will see a red mask appearing on the image. Now in case if you want to perform selection, select the eraser tool. You may adjust the size of the eraser from the top property bar and start erasing the red color from the image. If you want to see the selected part, move back to the standard mode. Now you can see that the part that was removed in the quick mask mode is actually a selection. If you want to add to the selection, come back to the quick mask mode and change the foreground color to white. Now when you want to add, just use the eraser again and you can see the color appearing back. In case if you want to subtract from the selection, select black as the foreground color and then you are ready to go. Suppose this is the selection that I want. Now since I want to highlight Mark Zuckerberg and I want to blur the remaining part, select inverse option in order to invert your selection from the select menu. Now you can choose the blur tool from the toolbar and simply blur the portions of the image that you want. When you are done, press Ctrl D and see the result. That's it.